The Lord is going to consume the wicked, the so-called white man and all his systems, by the spirit of his mouth. We're casting down those imaginations by reading the Bible. So yes, I have watched TV. I do understand those things that are going on in media today. Most of it, 99.9% .9 of it is to keep us in sin. First Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. And we're going to show you what God says about how special you are. But also when we break God's laws spiritually, we're destroying ourselves. Okay. Read that. This is the book of First Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. I need everybody to listen up because it's dealing with all of us. Understand that. Read. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? So when you wear the name of Israel, you're basically telling the whole world that you are the temple of God. Okay. That makes sense. A temple is not something that you just go dress in disarray. It's not something that you go dirty up. It's something that you keep holy and sanctified, right? right. So that's who y'all are. But here in America, they've made us ditches, dirt, grimes, slums, ghetto. That's where they put us as a people. That's and where we are is how we start to think of ourselves, right? Okay. So read on. And that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. We're trying to give that spirit back to our people showing you your identity, your purpose, your heritage, your culture, so that we can stray away from the things that are spiritually destroying us. We don't. If any man defile the temple of God, if we defile our temple, the temple that God gave us, as a matter of fact, he gave us the most special temple because we're those children of Israel, right? But when we defile it with crack cocaine, when we defile it with cigarettes, marijuana, defile it with adultery, fornication, Anything that is outside of the laws of God, okay. what will God do to us? Him shall God destroy. So now God gave you how special you are. He gave you how we should treat ourselves. Right. He said if we don't treat ourselves in that way, he's going to be the one that kills us. Oh. Y'all understand that? Okay. If we live a life full of murder, he gonna eventually he's going to send somebody to murder us. Right. Okay. That's what, if we keep defiling our temple with... Uh, a crack cocaine, a cigarette smoke. What is written on the box of cigarettes? We're gonna oh, that'll happen to us. What's written on the box? Lung cancer, Lung cancer emphysema, bronchitis. Yeah. Then, then next Martin, thing you know, our Martin, children, yeah. our children Martin. grow up with bronchitis and pneumonia and all kind of oh, stuff. Okay. So it's not only gonna affect us; it's gonna affect the next generation. Y'all yeah. understand that? Yeah. The thing for um, what you call it? What y'all call it? I thank you. So Did much. you hear that? I though? Heard. Yeah. Cassandra, right, that address right. on the back of that flyer okay. is meant for you to call, inquire about, so that you have a sense of accountability. Get Hebrews 10 and 25. Yeah, finish that up. Finish that for up. the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. So you are a holy temple unto God. You got to okay. treat yourself that way. Get Hebrews 10 25. And this is why we give everybody a flyer with an address a website so that y'all can keep in contact so that y'all can get more edification through the scriptures you understand that because your mindset is what led you to doing whatever was sin right? right you got comfortable with that thing but now you have to be comforted by the scriptures of the lord you understand that was first corinthian thank you this is the book of hebrews chapter 10 verse 25 come back mississippi because i want to deal with you too i, I got a, i got a question for you real quick not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together, uh -huh. as the matter of some is. Because some of us like to separate ourselves. I'm doing me. That's how we think of ourselves. But then, 
once something happens to one of our own, then we start to say, well, they don't love us as a black people. But as a black people, we separate ourselves. Why is that? Why is that, Mississippi? Why do we separate ourselves? Why do we, as a so-called black people, why do we make it fashionable to separate ourselves? What is it? My opinion? Yeah. It's like, all right, you separate yourself from the ones that that's doing 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 wrong right in the street. That's why, that's why I separate myself. Like, okay. All right. What about, what you say? Hmm? I just don't like. People. You just don't like people. I just don't like people that. Do okay. Dumb stuff. Read on. Read on. But <laughs> exhorting one another. Now, when we come together, what should be going on? If it's a godly gathering, it should be us exhorting one another. Right now is a position of exhortation. We're telling you what's wrong and compelling you to fix it. You understand that? What do we fill that time with, that space and energy with? With the scriptures. Now, when we teach you, are we hypocrites? No. Then, let's just say we are still battling with that spirit. When we smell a cigarette, we, we get that urge, but we know what the scriptures say. Right. Now we have a sense of correction and a sense of accountability. Right. You understand that? Because I can't come around these men smelling like cigarettes or smelling like weed. They're going to check me. Right. Y'all listen. And sometimes we run away from gathering together because we don't want nobody to correct us. We ain't never got a whooping while we was children. Bring it up. You know, most we did was fighting the streets when we got upset. Right. right. But when somebody really say, bruh, you out the spirit, you doing something wrong, that's when we really get emotional as men, don't we? Somebody, matter of fact, many people have died in the club just by somebody stepping on their shoes. Yeah. What kind of foolishness is that? Yeah. Right? We only made the white man, we made the white man rich when we bought oh. the shoes. We made the white man rich when he came to uh, call the body dead. Right. We made the white man rich when he had to buy all the bombing fluid to Bring go put us in the funeral home. All we doing is destroying ourselves in our community by not knowing who we are. Yo, yo, Make yo, sense? Yo, yo. Come back around here. Come back around here. I'm going to show you yo. something. Yeah. Yeah. Hebrews 10 and 25. I ain't gonna lie. So, my mama, yeah, my mama believe in all that. Yeah, right. Mama, and and watch this. Watch yeah. this. I'm gonna show you some other stuff. Read on. And so much the more as you see the day approaching. So, the day of salvation is approaching fast. Fast. Y'all don't see all this war? Do y'all not see all the war going on? Do y'all not see the approaching famine? Do you, we just came through a portion of pestilence with COVID and all this other foolishness, right? So, what's happening? is the Bible is being fulfilled right in front of people's eyes. But meanwhile, in our community, we think we everything good. Everything. Say it again. We are, we are delusional. Everybody. You are correct. Now watch this. Who gives that strong delusion? TV, white people that build all the stuff. Okay. And ourselves sometimes too. Now, ultimately, where does that strong delusion come from? Get that in 2 Thessalonians. That's what I want. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 6. Because you, he just said, what's written in the Bible. So we are the people of the book. It's, it's ingrained in us, but also we've learned sin so well that we forget the instruction of the Lord. That makes sense? But we gotta come back out of it. We're giving back that spirit to our people so that we can get salvation. Go ahead and read that. Uh, six, uh, two and 10. Yes, go this ahead. This is the book of 2 Thessalonians. Uh, wait, 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 wait. At verse eight, watch this. This, this is the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter two and oh, verse man. eight. Uh huh. And then shall that wicked be revealed. Now, who is wicked? Who, who, what people did this to us? Huh? Answer that question. Uh, I, I, I need beige it. Beige and gray people. You said beige and gray people. <laughs> I don't white know what beige. that means. Huh? Let, make it plain. White and gray people. The white man. <laughs> the white man. Let's just keep it that way. Now, understand this. The Lord put the white man in power because we disobeyed him. Understand that. Right. But in these last days, it says what? The wicked shall be what? And then shall that wicked be revealed. So we're revealing the wicked to our people who has set up the very media that you're talking about. Yeah, and they, they, they prosper off of the media. They prosper the off of the media too. getting into our brain and deceiving us to be in sin. Make sense? Makes it, does that make sense? Yeah. I'm making a point. Read on. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. Right. The Lord is going to consume the wicked, the so-called white man and all his systems, by the spirit of his mouth. We're casting down those imaginations by reading the Bible. So yes, I have watched TV. I do understand those things that are going on in media today. Most of it, 99.9% .9 of it, is to keep us in sin. Hey, can you, um, 
Case in point, I'm gonna give you an example. When do they advertise the bi the biggest and best discounts? Bring Black it out. Fridays, Black Friday. Right. Huh? Holidays and Black Friday, man. Okay. Now, are any of those things of God? No. No. Friday night and Saturday is the Friday night sundown, the Saturday night sundown is the Sabbath of the Lord. A day that we should keep holding. No buying, no selling. But they give an 80%, 90% discount in every store Bring on Friday and Saturday. They and most of our buying. people go there and defile themselves and commit sin. Right. It's a trap. You, it's a trap. That we get the, it's a deceiving of our spirit. Y'all understand that? Because as long as we're deceived as a people, they can stay on top and rule over us and make us their slaves. Right. That makes That's sense, right. Mississippi. Does that make sense? Read on. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So the Lord is destroying this man's system, the white man's system, just by us reading the Bible. Because what is happening is those chains and shackles are coming off your mindset. You're redirecting your path to the words of God. Read on. Even him who's coming is after the works of Satan uh -huh. with all power. It says this wicked man, is work. his works are after Satan. So Satan has given this man power. Right. So when he is putting things in the media, who are you following up? When you follow what he what his propaganda is. You're following the white man who's following Satan. And he leading you to serpent. death. Huh? Serpent. Right. The serpent. He's very crafty at how he one puts it in best, front of you. So of watch best, this. What you call it? The best singers, instrumental players within hip. Right, because all the people that were those singers and those entertainers, they have influence over the people that see them on TV. Right. So watch this, read on. Even him who's coming is after the work of Satan uh -huh. with all power and signs and lying wonders. So this right here, when people say, we ask little children all the time, who is Jesus? Out of these signs, they say, oh, that's Jesus. This is a lying wonder. This is a sign of our oppression. Y'all understand that? So our people have been so deceived by this white man, we don't know which way is up no more. But like the scripture just said, we're, the Lord is going to destroy this white man's system just by us reading the Bible correctly, getting the right understanding. But what happens if we just choose to stay in our sin? Verse 10. And with all deceivableness uh -huh. of unrighteousness in them that perish. So our people are dying because they're deceived by their own sin. Whether it be crack cocaine, marijuana, living a life of adultery, living a life of covetousness, which is most of what media is. Read on. Because they receive not the love of the truth. So earlier, uh, what's your name again? School. Remember when we first started our conversation and you said, I love my people. I love them spiritually. Let's find out what the love of God really is. All right, so before you leave, what's the love of, uh, how do you love your people correctly? Because that's what you really need to know. We're showing you how our people have been set into a program, but as we deprogram, we gotta set our people in order, right? So, uh, go to uh, Leviticus 19. Leviticus, how do we love our people? Because right now, y'all, we giving you as much love as we, we know to give you. You understand? So watch this. Watch this. Here we go, Mississippi. Let's read that. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Uh-huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So under this white man's system, we've learned to hate each other. Fight each other. Kill huh? each other. Kill each other. Murder each other. Uh, lay up with women. Leave the woman by herself. Now the child gets brought forth. We say bump her and the child. You understand? Or vice versa, you lay down with a woman, you really do care about her, but the woman says, I don't want you, I want the white man's money, so you gotta get up out of here, right? There's many ways that sin has found its way in our community, right? So, it says we should not hate our brother or sister in our heart. These are our family members. How much crime goes on amongst these people? Whether it be inside their own tribe or against one another. It's a lot because we don't know who we should be loving. We love the white man more than we love ourselves. Bring it Let's out. keep it real. Right? But read on. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. We should rebuke our neighbor. So right now, we're rebuking you, but we're rebuking you in love. Stop smoking cigarettes. Join or uh, 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 learn the laws of God so that you understand the power of gathering together as a nation. That makes sense. We have to come from under the deceit of the white man's system. 
Y'all understand that? Keeping the Sabbath day holy is us rebuking our people to righteousness. Go ahead. And not suffer sin upon him. So the reason why we rebuke our brothers is because I don't want you to die in the midst of your sin. That makes sense, Mr. Right, right. If I see you in the midst of your sin, you right now you don't have fringes on. This is a commandment. When the Lord comes back, he wants to see his sons, his daughters, in righteous apparel with their fringes on. Was, um, you got to change that. Ain't that what mother was? No, that's the, this is the book of the Israelites and the Israelites only. That's you right. are an Israelite according to the Bible. Right. Your dress code that everybody else in this world wants to mimic, mock, and reproduce, it's yours. You understand that? So there's a purpose behind this. So when we rebuke you and show you God's direction, it's for you to fix it. This is what you should be having on your shirts, right? Your garments. Finish that off. Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. So, in, what part of Mississippi are you from? Greenville. Greenville. That's lower, upper or lower Mississippi? Yeah. Lower. Lower. All right. So, in your community, have you ever seen murder go on in your community? Right. Where are you from? You from everywhere. Give me, give me one place you're from. From my family, from West Philly and North Philly. West Philly. Okay, we can deal with West Philly. Cool. Does murder go on in those places? Yeah. All right. So watch this. We just read the importance of loving our black brother. People oh. from this culture. Say it again. Are gonna die. Anywhere that our people are, murder happens. Why? We haven't learned how to love one another. But God goes one step further to give us instruction on how to fix it while it's in our mind. Read this part. Read. Verse 18. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. So most murders happen after an altercation happens. Somebody bears a grudge. I'm going to get back at him. I'm going to go to the trunk on him. They're bearing a grudge and they avenge themselves. God is saying we shouldn't do that with our people. We should learn how to forgive our people, learn how to deal with them righteously. Because the white man been killing us since, 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 right? right, right, right. We, we ain't pull up no arms on him, right? So how is it that we can learn how to love everybody else, but the same family that the Lord put us in, we'll destroy that ourselves. I ain't gonna lie. That's a messed up mindset. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. My familia is the 12. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.